Welcome to Dining Table Tales. My name is Cosmas Omai. We are Place of New Beginnings and Real Lifestyle. We are here today with Joseph and he's very amazing with exactly what he does. He's really good at what he does and I'm actually impressed, most certainly jealous, because he's winning at this. Okay? Mm -hmm. We want to give a whole shout out to my present studio and ISBC <laughs> for sponsoring this video and making it happen. And if you're thinking the main thing, ISBC.co.ug. With that said, please introduce yourself. Oh, my name is Lubega Joseph and I'm the team leader of Kule Africa. You see, this guy is a trainer. Perhaps he came earlier today and he was training and the kids were all listening to him. He was lifting <coughs> arms here and there and it was amazing. But the Thank question you. we want to ask you today is that, how did you get to get here? How did I get to get here? It's been, it's been a long, long journey. Mm -hmm. I started seven years back. Seven years back. Yes, That's seven like years back. 2013. Yes, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And I am I'm the head of, of our family because my father died when I was seven and sorry and I, I grew up with a single mom. So I've been helping a lot with raising my sisters and brother. So I I am a father at home I'm and even a father for these kids, you know, you know, yeah. those so that your stay, father figure both ways. Yes. Those that stay around. Up. And I really have passion for music, for music and the arts. Okay. So my dream was to first at first my dream was to be a star. A star. Yes, a star. Like, I wanted like a musician. To be, yes, a musician, <laughs> an actor yeah. and everything. Yes. That was my dream because I come from a very musical family. Uh -huh. But then mm -hmm. along the way, I I, I my, my purpose and vision changed for everything about my life. I started thinking about I think God called called me to be to raise stars instead of being a star. Oh, so, so I can be a star, yes. Yeah. But I, I think I've been called to raise stars. Exactly. You know, people fail to have someone they believe in. Mm. As much as you have a calling, you have a vision, and yes. you tell people that I want to do this, I want to become a singer, your parents may not believe in you, your family may not believe in you, your teachers, yes, yes. they may call you dumb. So how did you face that and how did you come up? At first, yeah. or right now, the challenge at first, is now. At first, at first, first yeah. we embraced the culture thing and some people are not into it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, some yeah. they find just, it like, yes, like witchcraft -ish. Yes, witchcraft. Like <laughs> some people were even discouraging, even at the churches that we go to, some people are like, oh, insults, you know, the, the shakers, yeah, yeah, insults, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. oh my God. So it wasn't easy at first, people, because we came with a new style. I wanted us to come with, with this thing, this culture thing, because we are embracing culture and who we are. Mm. So at first it wasn't easy. Then, then, then the challenges of finance, finances, getting to, to buy the drums and the costumes and stuff. So it wasn't easy even getting a team to work with. Ah, yeah, yes, yeah, but I'm, yeah. I'm happy. I got friends and my sisters. My family has also been supportive. My mother, so you partner Brenda, together. you know it's, Brenda. So yeah, I know yes. Brenda. So okay. the question is, are you like the Jackson Fives? Because you know, Michael Jackson and the whole house was singing. <laughs> Latoya Jackson, <laughs> Janet Jackson. Jack we are not singing, singing like I, I sing, but my, my sister Tracy sings. Like yeah. we, we are into the arts. We are the into arts, the whole yes. package of drama and music mm -hmm. and everything because we believe it goes all, all, all in one. Yeah. So my my mother is an, act an actress, but she wow. retired into that. She, she used to do that way back. So oh, yeah. my family, most of you've seen my sister. Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. All yeah. of them are into this. So they are very supportive. They have the trainers here. Yeah. Then I've told you about Brenda. Brenda mm -hmm. is also that, that very, very close friend who works with us and she does amazing, amazing things. Yeah. Then there is Aksam. He's also one of our trainers. And the team, we have a really big team. A really big team. Yes. Well, oh, you deal with children. Yes, I do. And children, Ch are children hard. and youths. Yeah, and, and those are, are really hard to deal with. Yes. You know, they yes. always lose their sanity. They, yes, they can say whatever. How do you get to put together yourself and still lead them? Wow. I have been blessed working with these young people. They have changed my life. You know, at first, growing up as a youth, you want to do this and this and this and that. With the kids, you can't do. You have to be exemplary, you know? You have to yeah. do the right thing. Okay, not, not because you have to do the right thing, but because you know someone is watching you all the time. Oh, makes sense. And another thing is, we, these kids come from different families, different families, and they are taught different stuff. Yeah, they you know, come from some, different some are naughty, yeah, yeah, some are yeah, naughty, yeah, some yeah. are even, some, some are from, from from broken families, so you bring, they come with everything and hit it back to you. Okay, yeah. So I have learned to be patient with them. Patient. Yes, I've learned to be very, very super patient. It's not easy, but you have, you have to get to know 
each one. You one zero on down one. to yes. every person. Yes. Yeah. You have to know their story. You have to know what they, they, they where they come from. What they're dealing why, with. Yes. Yes. And it's amazing that whatever these kids are going through. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them are kids and then the others are, are, are youths. And you know the kind of background that we come from. Gaba is a very, very permissive society. It is. There's a lot of malwa, there's a lot of drug addiction, and it's a lot these days because our young people are into that a lot. And surprisingly, even our parents, some of our parents mm -hmm. are into the drug business. They sell, yeah. they don't take, but they sell because <laughs> it's really selling. Yeah, it's hard yes, to Yes, I make got money. to know that into it, and it was painful. A child came to me and told me, Ma Ma Mama, I tuned that stuff. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. So, and knowing that they're coming from these backgrounds, from yeah. parents that are, are witch doctors, from, from parents that are drunkard, it is really, really so sad. So you have to talk to them and music is really amazing. Music brings hope. Yes. Every person has their lowest point. Yes. Leading all these young people means you drain yourself yes. to empower them. Mm, true. But where do you fetch from? And that we're going to speak about later. The okay. question is, yes. when was that point you went down and how did you come out, out of that moment? Because I know there's a point where you're like, I'm done with this. Yes. Yeah. Many so, times. Yeah. Many times. How do you <laughs> always get out from so, a situation like that? Them, I've, I've thought about giving up a million times, like every day. You know, working with these kids, they, they have a lot of needs apart from the needs of the ministry. Yeah. yeah some of them need school fees. Some of them need need food and help and shelter. You know, mm -hmm, we've mm -hmm. gotten some from, from the streets and then we are housing them. They need to eat and then they need a lot. So it is a sacrifice. It is a sacrifice. You also have your own life as a person, but you have to sacrifice. And so I've been recently. down many times when, yeah. when, when recently one of my boys got very sick in the night and I had nothing with, with me in the pocket and everyone around had nothing. And I was like, oh my God, this boy, this boy is going to die. So mm. I had to call people and borrow money in the night and I had to take him to hospital. So many, many, many moments, moments of putting up a production and you don't even have money yeah and then yeah, you yeah. don't get anything out of it you know because we are, we what we're doing is mostly charity charity yeah so it's not easy but this is my calling it is I your get calling. To, I get back to that it is my calling. so what is your source of energy when you give up do you go to the bar and take oh. 70 beers or oh my God, I don't drink. or you go swimming and, drink. and drown no I don't drink yeah but where I get my energy is from them from them it's seeing from them. them seeing them and practicing sometimes we don't even practice we just talk about life yeah and then they're amazing there are stories they laugh at you at some point mm -hmm. then you then sometimes the things that the kids do when you're around kids for a, a long time you just just your life cannot be the same exactly mm -hmm. so um how many times have you gotten to to be tested according in line with with what you believe in because money is mm -hmm. one thing mm -hmm. someone says i want you to dance this way mm -hmm. i want you to say this mm -hmm. so that i give you this in return yes. but you also know it's contrary to what you believe yes, in. yes to what we believe in actually yeah. it's the biggest be mm. the biggest it's a very big challenge for us is sometimes we are called for big contracts like yes big contracts with huge money i won't say that the, the company the, but there is there is a beer company that saw us performing somewhere and the manager approached us and they were like what you guys are doing great stuff we want can you write a proposal and bring it i'm going to make sure that it happens but we want to sponsor your, your 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 programs and every time you have a concert we want to put you on our posters and then the posters will be advertising about beer and stuff so um sometimes i'm caught in the middle in the middle of what can i do yeah this is a huge huge deal and that that can be but sometimes we are we are called to perform in big bars yes and some bit, some bar, there was a bar that, that, that invited us to perform there and they were giving us good money. But challenge was certain drunk, drunk, drunkards hmm. came and one of them had to hold one of our girls like this. Oh I boy. Die. Yeah. I had to die. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the Did guy not flex? The, the girl was screaming. Oh boy. And I was like, oh my God, but you, you, you're not supposed to react very bad. And yeah. then they brought in a comedian who was using a lot of vulgar, vulgar language. And then we yeah. were also on stage. So it was very tricky. So I, I, I talked to the manager and we said, we won't go back there, but they gave us some good money that day. So mm. it's, it's, it's really, really challenging. Yeah. Very, very, very challenging. But we pray to get more, mm. more gigs because mm. this is, when we get this money, we, we, we pay rent. 
yeah. some of our kids stay. Then yeah, we, like this whole place yes. we, we recorded at. It was yes, amazing. then there the, are the, the, some kids. We take some kids to school. We yeah. took them back to school, you know. The, there's a day when, when one of our kids, I won't say the name, she was going to fetch water in the morning and then the friends were going to school. And I looked at her looking at the friends saying yeah. bye bye to her. That picture is very, very disturbing to me even up to now. I've not yet taken her back to school, but I'm, I promise her to take her when, after COVID. But, you know, so we, we try to take those that we can because we, we don't have money for all of them. Makes sense. So you said your, your team is called Culture, it's called Kule. Kule Africa. Kule, 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 Kule Africa. Is, is a word in Zulu. Zulu. It means grow. 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 grow Africa, yes. We want to see, we want to nurture talents. Nurturing is growth. Yes. Yes. Nurturing them and transforming their lives. So we looked for a name that is really culture. And actually the kids picked that name. Picked the name? Yes, I You came up with the idea? Yes, we came with Brenda. <laughs> yeah. My colleague, we came up with many, many names. And, and I was like, Let's ask the kids what do they want. So they, they were like, they were, they were making fun of the names. This one, no, 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 no. There's a, there's a word called Kuvela. Mm. Kuvela is the I shine. Yeah. So and they were like, no, 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 Kuvela. People will call us Kavela. We are not going to be Kavela Africa. <laughs> so they picked Kule Africa and it's an amazing name. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Okay. So Joseph, we're living in a country that changes every day. Yes. Right now you're doing an impact in, in Gaba. Yes. And Gaba is just a small part of Uganda mm. and the rest of the world. Yes. So what are your plans for, for the extending rest of the, yes. the love? Just like we want, we want to remember you as a saint, regardless Ooh, of whatever you're doing right is now. Too it's, big to be I know a saint. it's yeah, but I'm not a saint. Per se, for uh -huh. all the times I've seen you, mm. I mean, I grew up watch, watching you grow really? up. Really? I'm, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. And then you, you acted sometime, you yes, danced a little I'm, bit. I'm, I'm an actor. And, Exactly. Yes, you did that devil yeah. thing. It was epic, <laughs> untouched. You well, understand? We have another episode coming through. Yes, next exactly. Year. So um, <clears throat> I've seen you grow and I've seen you expand mm -hmm. to heights that I've, I wasn't even thinking you would ever make it there because yes, it's you. hard. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, the devil yes. tests you and then takes you off right out. Yes. Yeah, he has tipped me a thousand times that hey, I make it back <laughs> to the top. Anywho, yes. the question is, mm. wh what is, what is the plan you have to extend Kule, the ministry, the, the ministry far, farther from yourself, because right now I think it's seated on your shoulders. Yes. Yes. I mean, not, not me alone. Even the team. I don't want to say it's all on me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a team. Yeah. But we we first we first want to to see what happens with the kids because mm -hmm. we want to to tell their stories to tell as them. they tell their stories too. Because right now it's in Gaba, but we want to tell we want to tell our stories to the whole world. Yeah. You know, but with time we will, we will be expanding to other other places. But for now, we have a lot of work on ground, a lot yeah. of work, and transforming lives. It's not, it's not just transforming these kids. We want to to do our music. While we are working on albums and productions that we will put on the world market, and then it will transform the world. I was. Thank you so much, Joseph. Thank you. So we're gonna we're gonna have a short break, and when we come back, we're gonna have Brenda, Joseph's assistant, and she's gonna tell us more about Kule Africa. Okay. Let's have a short break. Welcome back from the short break. We are having Brenda in our studios already and she's very excited. You can see her already, Chairman. Please introduce yourself and tell us exactly what you do with Kule Africa. Uh, my name is Brenda Natkunda mm -hmm. and I'm um, the programs director for mm. Kule Africa. Yeah. So I work with Joseph. We work hand in hand on several projects and several programs with the children. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, have you just gotten any challenges or encountered any boys that are in Kule Africa? Mm, not really. Mm, okay. So not really means somewhere, somehow, yes. No, 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 no. Yes. With, when it comes to our kids, mm -hmm. uh, like Joseph talked about, uh, there, is, there, there is an aspect of respect that we've instilled in them that they look at us as aunties, uh, mothers. So, there are things they would not really come out and there are things they will not do. There are things that, there's, there's, there's stuff they will not act out when it comes yes, to you. Yes. There's a certain respect they give unto you. If they kneel for you to greet you, trust me, there is not. There, there are things they will not come and tell you. Do you not think kneeling and, and respecting you that much also hinders their openness towards you? Because nah. then they would say it. Listen, mm -hmm. most of the times me growing up, mm -hmm. I used to tell my folks when we were in church, mm -hmm. shh, in church. 
but the Bible calls us to be the same in church and outside the church. You understand that? They may be there kneeling down to greet you, but they're not actually sharing with you exactly what they're dealing with. You believe that? Well, in Kule, we, we create a, we, we create a, uh, we create space, mm -hmm. we create a safe place where anybody can freely share their feelings. Yes. I've seen this several times when I go with them when they're performing, maybe at a wedding, an introduction. You really sit in the same taxi with them as you're going. Yeah. You eat food with them. Maybe you're all seated down and you're eating food with them. So they are able to talk. They are able to say anything. Yeah. Stuff that you would never think they would speak out. But they freely speak it out because they feel safe. They feel appreciated. They feel that you will trust them. They feel you have their back. So they will open up. Much as they respect you, yeah. they will not fear telling you if things are not going well. Okay. They will run to you and tell you because they believe you have their back. All right, so what are the barriers you have built around these kids? I should call them kids or teenagers or something like that because they're young people mm -hmm. that have feelings of love sparkling inside of them. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. And they can choose to love their sisters They choose because they're in a, a team. But anyways, <laughs> how, what are the barriers you've put against that? Well, or it's okay. To, no, 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 no. Yes, we, we are, we are, we are, we form everything we do on a Christian foundation. Yes. And uh, when a child comes in, a kid comes in, first thing we do is we orient you on what we do and what we don't do in Kule Africa. Yes. We have a code of conduct. Code of conduct. All right. So much as a code of conduct conduct would sound so formal, would sound so strict, but we break it down to a point of a dialogue. Mm -hmm. So we talk. We meet with them. We tell you this is not this is acceptable as yes. per the Christian faith, mm. and we are founded on the Christian faith. So we do everything as per Christian principles. So for us, we don't believe in this. This is not the right time for you, because you've not seen us do this. Then yeah. you shouldn't be doing it. Well, how how sure are they that they have not seen you do it? They don't follow you around or something like that. Now, as Joseph was telling you, yeah. Uh, working with children means you're going to do away with some things. So you give up having a relationship? It's, no, 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 so no, 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 no. Yes. It means there's a limit, there's, there's a line that you can't cross. Just because you have kids around? It's not that because you have kids, hmm. it's because you have someone that looks up to you. Up to you. Yeah. So you know, there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about if, that talks, that, that says that if somebody stumbles a child, uh, they would it's better they put a neck around their, their they put a rope around their neck and they dump and then they tie it on a stone and then dump it in a what in an ocean yeah and you drown and die there's a scripture that talks about that <laughs> so personally it's a driving factor for me because i believe they they see something in me they'll come up to you and tell you i really want to do this like you do i really want to say this like the way you do it so trust me if you mess up you're not only messing up your life you're messing up their lives but exactly, according to that, we all understand there's an old saying that says, all ladies suffer from a lot. Mm -hmm. When a woman gets out of the house, she walks to look beautiful. As mm -hmm. much as she doesn't want to be called or said, a your ma or something, whatever, she, doesn't, she, she wants to look good. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yeah, yeah. But then that means she's going through a lot. Mm -hmm. And you sacrificing your desires, your wants, your likes, for the children, does it not hurt you in return? I wouldn't call it a sacrifice. It's not literally a sacrifice. What is it? Because if you do what you love, it doesn't mean you're sacrificing it. It literally means you're choosing to walk a journey that you feel you really need to take. All right. Much it gets I'm gonna give you a chance. First of all, as I'm speaking this, you think about it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a chance to give me two answers. First of all, from the bad side to the good side. So. It's basically the ups or the highs and lows of this year, mm. but in line with Kule Africa. Mm. So what is your highest point or your highest working with Kule Africa and your lowest working with Kule Africa? You can start with the lowest. It really breaks my heart a lot mm. when we are not able to do what we really want to do. Yes. Uh, like what? We have a lot we want to do. Exactly. You can. Uh, yeah. Personally, I've come from a broken background and it's a, it's a lot of struggling. So when I see them struggle and I'm, I'm not able to do anything about it, it really breaks my heart. This, uh, the ongoing pandemic has really, 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 really broken me so much when it comes to the kids. I mean, there's a way you feel when they come for practice and they didn't have a meal. 
Yeah. You cannot even if they will smile and they will dance, they use all that energy. Trust me. I would not be the most excited person. Yes, I would feel happy because I am seeing them here, but I would I would be so so down, wondering what are they going to eat when they go back home. What I uh, where is rent? Some of them are, uh, recently one of uh, two of them lost their dad, and I was looking at them and I was telling Joseph, what are they really going to do? What are we going to do? Because it's now part of they are part of my life. So if things are not going right, I feel. I feel the pain when they feel the pain. So that has been my lowest point this year. Yeah. It has been my lowest point. Get this that. Year. So now you have high time to lighten up the moment by telling us the high, highest point of the, the year okay. working with Kule Africa. Yeah. As everything comes, everything comes with a bad side and comes with a good side. Exactly. COVID has given us time. Yeah. Uh, I'm always away at school sometimes, but COVID has really given me time to be with them almost all the time yes through practice through visiting their families one family per family mm -hmm. going to shows with them uh working on new projects with them learning new things with them trying to do a little bit more better than we have been doing with them we've come up with a new picture of how things should run we're uh, trying to find new opportunities for them mm. so this time has helped us to think, plan better, uh -huh. and engage with them more better. Exactly. So with those words, we want to give you a chance to pour out to the people out there. First of all, those that have not yet tested the, the waters of Kule Africa, yeah. and then those that have already tested the waters of Kule Africa, mm -hmm. and how are you looking forward to, to blessing them as Brenda? I would really, really, really welcome you to be part of us. You can volunteer, you can uh, support us financially with, well, with food, with clothes, with money. And you can also invite us at your functions. Our kids can dance, our kids can sing. We have many packages we are ready to offer at your introduction, at your wedding ceremony, at your concert, at your birthday, at your kwanjula. Name it, we are ready to give it to you. So if you've not really gotten a chance to be part of us, you can find ways of, you know, working with us in that kind of field. And uh, to those that have been part of us, we are so proud of you. We are so proud of what you're doing. We respect and support you because you are our very own and we, would like to see you go from one level to another. We are so proud of you. Thank you so much, Brenda, for sharing, first of all, your life with us. And we are so very privileged to have both of you here. And you're hitting on the shiki. And somehow, yeah. somehow <laughs> I'm wearing a Hawaiian culture, which is not African, but anyways, <laughs> forgive me for that. And we're gonna have Joseph also share with us, also bless us with words of advice, words of hope, because we understand starting a ministry or starting an organization or a place where you can have children around giving them food hope mentoring them and all that is not easy and joseph has people that are looking forward to being like him out there just like you people out there and he has a word for you joseph what i can say is to all first of all to all the young people out there no one should ever tell you that you can't please be believe in yourself look for places where you can improve on your talent and make sure that you're good at what you do. Please, please let us support our young people. We have a lot of talent out there. We, are, we have a lot and we have to believe in them. It is high time we believe in our young people. Instead of condemning them, today many kids are into a lot of stuff, but let's love on them, let's encourage them, let's, let's keep on encouraging, encouraging them to do whatever they want to do. So to anyone who wants to start up a ministry out there, follow your follow your dreams, follow your vision and make sure that you are you have been called to do so. Exactly. Yes. All right, thank you so much for joining us. This has been a dining table for you. We want to give a hot shout out to my Prince Studio and i3c for sponsoring this video and making it happen. And if you're thinking domain, think i3c.co.ug. With that said, goodbye. Mm -hmm.